What's up guys, it's Carter, and I'm back with another video. And I'm still using the Juggernaut AI app here, and I'm doing a power building program for those who haven't been following. And here, this is just showing kind of, this is my dashboard on the app, showing where I'm at in my training. And we're here in week nine, and we're kind of wrapping up the hypertrophy phase of this program. So it's a pretty intense week, and then next week will be a deload, and then we'll move into the strength uh, phase in the first strength block. So looking forward to that because the hypertrophy training has gone, been going pretty well. i uh, been pretty happy with it, been putting on some muscle. Now, I had selected chest as one of my weak points that I wanted to address during my hypertrophy training. And the app gave me some exercises like this Caden Barbar bench, also a lot of dumbbell work and some tempo bench as well. So, and then it would throw in some some chest work on even on my, some of my lower days so really happy with the, the progress there because the chest is definitely thickening up uh, next we moved on to you know just the back offsets of the camber bar bench and then we moved on to some chin-ups and I'm really happy to be having chin-ups back in the program uh, if you guys have been following my vlogs I had injured my forearm some time ago and really haven't been able to do pull-ups or chin-ups in a long time and it's now starting to feel pretty good so I'm really happy to have chin-ups back in the uh, back in action and then we moved on to a Viking press I'm using the Powertech leverage in here uh, just kind of blasting those shoulders and then we moved on to some chest supported rows and I'm just using the leverage gym again kind of using the squat bar as the uh, place to support my chest and then just using that low cable for the uh, the rowing and I really like this uh, it's pretty tough felt it in my lats uh, really hard got a nice contraction in the movement so uh, I was happy with that we moved on to some well the first combo set of the week which was the alternating dumbbell press and uh, the glute ham raises so these alternating dumbbell presses are pretty pretty intense uh, I go a little lighter than I normally would for a dumbbell press because the time under tension is what gets you on this exercise and then the GHRs are just a little extra hamstring work because I selected hamstrings as a weak point for my lower body so it throws in a little extra chest on lower day and a little extra hamstring on upper day so moving on to kind of finishing up the workout we're hitting some cable curls this is really one of the exercises I've been able to do that wasn't bothering my forearm and I've been progressing uh, nicely on this um, biceps are growing biceps have gotten pretty puny while uh, rehabbing the forearm and I'm pretty happy with the uh, progress here and we moved on to the combo set here to end the workout and it's a line tricep extension using the PowerTech lever gym lower cable and that's this one felt good I was really happy with this it's got a good good pump nice exercise and then we supersetted that with the uh, weighted sit-ups using the uh, glue ham developer so that was a solid upper day moving on to day two we start off with well you can see it's kind of my little dashboard here this session took me over three hours almost three and a half hours now some of that's my fault by uh, just getting distracted at certain things and then set up times for certain exercises but part of it is just there's just so much volume in these uh, kind of peak hypertrophy weeks that uh, they just take forever to complete and you see this session was an RPE 10 and uh, it was pretty tough so we start off with a low bar squat and start off with an RP10 uh, kind of pushing things. My squat is is very weak right now. Um, still having that hip inflammation, so uh, not pushing it terribly hard. But this was a tough set, and uh, I'm pretty happy with how it went. Aside from the the hip inflammation, did one back off set. Didn't end up doing the second one because I just didn't feel it was worth it because of all the volume. In the workout, I didn't think I would miss out on one when I was going to move on to uh, some belt squats later. So just didn't feel it was worth it for the hip. So we moved on to a competition deadlift afterwards. And these have been going well. These have been progressing weekly. Um, 
and they've been feeling really good. Low back feels really good. Uh, other than the hip, lower body feels really good. My hamstrings and quads have been packing on some muscle. I can really tell the difference uh, in about two months that I've been running this hypertrophy phase. We moved on to the first combo set of the workout and there was a lot of them for this one. So we did a front belt squat using the uh, chest harness and we supersetted that with a cable pullover utilizing the lever gym and the uh, gym pen handle with the prime handles. It's been a great, uh, great tool for the home gym. I highly recommend those. Then we moved on to the next combo set which is a good morning using the belt squat. And we're gonna pair that with some deep stretch push-ups, just using the uh, power block handles, just to get an extra stretch there at the bottom. You can see four sets of these. Everything is going zero to one reps in reserve. So the intensity is definitely pretty high for this session and for this week overall. Then we move on to another combo set, which is reverse hyper. And I've moved these up pretty well over the past couple months. Uh, I think I was maybe at 140 when I started. I'm up to 220 now, and I'm not losing any reps when I when I bump the weight up 10 pounds each uh, each time the app suggests to raise the weight. So happy with the progression here. And we superset that with these dumbbell Cuban presses. Never done this exercise before. Uh, kind of underestimated how tough it would be. Um, so just using really light dumbbells here and, you know, by the ninth or 10th set, my shoulders are on fire. So pretty good exercise. You should try it if you haven't. And then move on to another combo set, which I did some, uh, bent knee calf raises using the lever gym. And, uh, these are pretty good. I got some wedges there on the floor, but, uh, I ended up breaking my squat bar on the lever gym. Not sure what happened there. You see it right there at the end kind of falls off and then we superset those with some cable curls again again just blasting these biceps and then ended the session with some weighted sit-ups on using the uh, ghd and then on to day three we started off with uh well this is a session that was overall rpe eight took me a little over two hours to complete and uh, we start with a pin lay row. We got five sets of these and eight to nine RPE. And uh, I bumped it up 10 pounds from the last session to 180. These are supposed to be really strict, but then we moved on to a competition style bench. And uh, these felt a little, little weaker after the camber bar uh, bench. And uh, I believe it's just because they added in a little bit of chest on my lower day, I just wasn't quite recovered uh, from that workout. So just felt a little bit weaker for my benching on this session here, but still felt pretty good overall. I took the uh, higher end of the recommended weight, which was 215, and was pretty easily able to get the eight reps probably with a couple of uh, reps in the tank. And then moved on to some incline bench, and these felt really good, felt pretty strong. Um, I pushed these up, I think five pounds each dumbbell and again, zero to one reps in reserve, like most of the workouts in this, uh, this week. We moved on to some dips and doing the banded dips again. Uh, got this one from my man, uh, Philip from baby giant barbell and I'm sticking with it for this whole block. I really like it. Um, add a little bit of, uh, resistance there at the top without adding too much there at the bottom where my shoulders tend to get kind of uh, stressed out there. So moved on from dips to some lat pull downs using that gym pen uh, bar again paired with the prime handles. And I just did these, uh, I went a little lighter than I usually do and just really focused on the, uh, the contraction and getting a pretty good stretch and just doing them a little slower. And man, my lats were burning by the end of those. Then we moved on to some cable curls again. Just blasting these cable curls seems like every workout. And ended with a tricep press down because uh, 
my elbows are feeling a little bit a little bit sore from those uh, tricep extensions I've been doing the past few weeks so time to work these uh, tricep push downs with the bands back in to uh, kind of take care of those elbows and keep the tendons healthy and then day four I'm going to be doing at work so I went ahead and added day four from last weekend just to give you guys an idea what a day four uh, looks like it's another lower day I started off with some uh, RDLs and I think these have been responsible for packing on a lot of uh, muscle on my my glutes and uh, hamstrings and kind of pushing those reverse hypers up as well uh, just I think just that constant tension and getting that good stretch has been really good and uh, helping my deadlift also as well so we did a uh, 10 RPE set and I, I used some straps for that one and uh, I was using 245 for eight and uh, felt pretty good I was really happy with that um, then we moved on to a competition squat and uh, this one was feeling okay uh, this week I had had to go running at work I ran like three times and it kind of aggravated the hip that's why I'm having a little bit of hip inflammation this week but uh, got through the squats weren't too bad and then we went on to some belt squats something I always like to work in if I can just uh, because this does not bother my hip at all it's the load from the, the barbell that ends up hurting the hip but when I don't have any load on my spine it doesn't bother the hip so this is how I get a lot of my volume in then we move on to a combo set uh, the glute ham raises and the alternating dumbbell presses we saw earlier then we ended with some reverse hypers uh, only two here I think that it reduced the volume a little bit because my my readiness rating that I gave before the workout um, I had a really rough day the day before didn't hardly get any sleep I had tryouts for uh, for something there at work and it was just a brutal day it wasn't quite recovered so I think it lowered all the uh, volume for me and then ended with some uh, weighted sit-ups here and you see my daughter making a, an appearance kind of watching her towards the end of my workout here and she's getting a little fussy but as soon as I start doing my sit up she starts <laughs> watching me and wondering what I'm doing so uh, it was kind of cool for her to make an appearance and uh, get down there in the gym but um, I'm really liking the training guys I uh, hope you guys are too let me know what you think down in the comments and you get, if you guys have any questions about uh, anything with the workout or the app I'll try my best to answer them so uh, appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you in the next one